judge sides in favor of the January 6th committee, a new strand of the coronavirus proving to be vaccine proof, and could the Supreme Court take up Biden's student loan forgiveness? Good morning, I'm Kara Rucker, and here's your daily rundown. A judge has ordered former Trump attorney John Eastman to turn over dozens more emails to the January 6th committee. This comes after Eastman already handed over more than 100 emails earlier this year. Eastman has been a target of the committee and FBI over investigations into the 2020 election. The judge long before today had accused Trump of committing several federal crimes. COVID-19 vaccines have never been more readily accessible in the U.S. But on this same day the FDA approved another vaccine booster shot, the CDC warns vaccines aren't working against two new strands of the COVID variant Omicron. The two subvariants amount for one fifth of the new cases happening in New York City right now. Dr. Fauci saying it's something to keep a close eye on as we approach winter. The Supreme Court has been asked to put Biden's student loan debt relief program on pause. A group in Wisconsin asking the justices to suspend student loan forgiveness while there are active appeals in lower courts still pending. It's a last ditch effort after student loan applications were released this week. The Biden administration could begin processing those requests and forgiving debt as early as this weekend.